Hello, everybody. Good evening, welcome. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good yes, evening. Teacher. Everybody, good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. Hi, good how are you? Hi, five times. Nice. Okay, very good. It's nice to have you in the meeting, everybody. We're going to begin with the session. I'm going to start with the first thing, you know, we're going to ask attendance. Please, once you listen to your name, say present, okay? Yeah. Again, here we go. Hello, we can hear you. Hello, hello. Escuchamos. Gerto Espinosa. Hi, teacher. Okay. Ana Francisca. Present, teacher. Okay. Ana Vicky Garcia. Well, Vicky Garcia is here and she's having some issues. Okay. Let's continue. Let's go with Ask the Diaz. Ask the Diaz. Here. Vicky Muñoz. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Bessie Avalos. Bessie Avalos. Well, I can see Bessie Avalos. Oh, yeah. Hello, Bessie. Can you hear me? Okay, I can see the microphone. Okay, Flores. Flores. Oh, Okay. Bestie Flores, by the way, I can see you. Hello. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Ramos. Present. Good. Dalida Galicia. Present teacher. Good. Delmi. Present teacher. Ernesto Garcia. Present teacher. Good. Stephanie Sea. Present. Thank you. Carson Rodriguez. Present teacher. Elina Linares. Present teacher. Thanks. Liliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Patriz. Present. Okay. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Thanks. Joana Navarro. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Okay. Seba Rientos. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Jose Portillo. Present teacher. Thanks. Present teacher. Karen Carvalho. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Mengiva. Karen Mengiva. Okay. Karen Renda Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Granados. Thank you. Carla Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. And Carla Rosa. Present. Thank you. Okay, very good. ¿A quién me mencionado? Teacher. Eh, yeah. A mí se me, me sacó de la reunión cuando oí mi nombre, ya no pude. Hasta ahorita oh. que volví a ingresar. Ya, yeah, pero sí, sí, la, sí la puse en lista, no se preocupe. Sí, sí la vi. 
teacher, yo, in, yo entré después. Oh, yeah, hace días. Good. Sí. Thank you. ¿Qué más me mencionaba? ¿Para Oh, yeah. Eh, presente, teacher. Good, good. All right, so, yeah. So now we have study participants. ¿Para me lleva? Tengo dos, tengo un padres que dice Ana García. ¿Pero al suyo, Vicky? Creo que sí, teacher. Creo que sí. Okay. Ana Vicky García. El uno que dice Ana García, bueno, no sé. No me parece acá. Ok, bueno, no se preocupe. Thank you. Ok, listen up. Um, I'm going to take the screenshot, please. Remember, switch on the camera. Switch on the camera. And I'm going to take the screenshot. Please, on the camera three. One, two, three. Smile, okay? Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will continue, guys. Let's go to session. Let me display the, the screen. Okay. Can you see the presentation? Yes, yes, teacher. Good. Por cierto, me escuchan todos. También. No estoy muy contado. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes. Estoy yes. experimentando acá en mi equipo. Siento lento la forma, no sé por qué. Bueno, lo importante es que me escuchen bien. Bueno, well, let's continue. Uh, by the way, uh, is everything good with the platform? ¿Está todo bien con la plataforma? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Lento? ¿Todo bien? Mañana terminamos la semana 3. Por ende, terminamos la sección 4. Okay, ya el jueves iniciamos la sección 5 y la semana 4. Quedamos casi combinando. Quiero saber si todo está bien con la plataforma, si tienen alguna, algún problema, alguna duda, algún comentario. Y recuerden, hago nuevamente el recordatorio. No olviden enviar su, su formato, caso de inscripción, para el siguiente módulo. Espero que ya lo hayan hecho. Si no lo han hecho, pues los, les invito. Tienen hasta el próximo lunes 26 de, de abril para enviar todo. ¿okay? Es que no esperemos hasta ese día, el lunes, y lo envían martes, por ejemplo, el día siguiente, ya no se lo van a recibir. Y recuerden, deben de enviarlo al correo que les ah, compartí ayer. El de soporte, si tienen que soporte, arroba inglescompartido.net. El correo que les compartí, bueno, de hecho ustedes lo tienen, pero se lo comparto cualquier cosa, es lo que etc. Correo. Solo el correo deben de enviarlo. No deben de enviarlo por WhatsApp, no deben de enviarlo por email. Perdón, por otro correo, por ejemplo, o en algo, u, otra, let's say, red social, ¿ok? Es que solo por ahí, no se lo deben de enviar a, no lo deben de enviar a mí, no lo deben de enviar a Elena, etc. ¿Ok? O u otra persona de inglés deportivo. Debe de ser por correo. Les hago este recordatorio porque no quiero que se van a equivocar. Se van a equivocar y, y lo envíen por WhatsApp, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? No se les olvide, tienen hasta el próximo lunes. E igual, si tienen algún problema con respecto, en este caso hablando de, de la plataforma, quisiera saber. Quisiera saber y hacerles el recordatorio nuevamente de que la próxima semana hacemos el final test. Vamos a hacer el último examen la próxima semana, así es que debemos desde ya estar listos para practicar, estudiar, porque va a englobar todo. ¿okay? El final test, el exam. Al global todo. Estamos listos. Pues ya se los adelanto. Que deben, ese deben de hacerlo antes. Deben de hacerlo antes, un día antes. No el propio día, miércoles, por ejemplo, que vamos a terminar el, el, el módulo. Debe de ser antes. Así que no sé si hay dudas, preguntas, comentarios. Pueden hacerlos.
Mm, okay. Vicky, can you hear me? My scooter, Vicky? Bueno, Vicky dice que tiene muchos problemas con... Bueno, imagino, de hecho, uh, menciona esto. Creo que en algunos lugares se está lloviendo. ¿Se está lloviendo? ¿No? No, teacher. Bueno, okay. hago la Ok. Hago, menciono eso porque, ya saben, eh, la señal se vuelve muy mala debido a, a las lluvias. Bueno, en mi zona no, no está lloviendo, gracias a Dios, porque eso dificulta. Y como se pudieron fijar ayer, se fue la luz sin estar lloviendo, así, cosas que pasan. Ok, well, no questions, no comments, no doubts, no ningún problema con la plataforma, todo bien. Desde ahí empezar. Ok, well, let's begin. This is session number 11. And this is today's topic. Pronunciation, simple pass. Remember that we're talking about the simple pass. And we're going to focus on regular and irregular verbs. Okay. Yesterday, we started with the regular verbs. And I explained, I, I gave you some details about regular verbs. I'm going to point out some specific things today related to regular verbs, and I'm going to explain irregular verbs. I would say that they are easier to recognize or I would say to pronounce them. So they are easy to pronounce, I mean, to identify the words. What you have to do is to practice and, you know, memorize possible, memorize those verbs, irregular verbs. Let's begin. Today is Tuesday, April, April 20, 20th, 2021. And let's go to the first one. Let's start with irregular verbs. In the previous class, we were saying that regular verbs have different forms, okay? And it depends on the sounds. We have different endings. D, ed, and id. Okay? Los verbos regulares tienen diferentes terminaciones. D, id, id. Okay? And we add those endings in some or in all the verbs, but we have to take into account that. The sounds and some rules. Well, when we say sounds, we're referring to the pronunciation. If we say in the rules, is the way we add the endings. Okay, it's muy diferente los sonidos. Los sonidos uh, va a depender por su pronunciación. Es diferente. Y sus reglas uh, nos hacen referencia a la forma en cómo agregamos esas terminaciones. Okay, let's begin with the following part. Here we have some rules. Some rules talking about irregular verbs. In the previous class, I gave you some rules. Okay, and I was saying that the first rule, for example, most of the verbs, most of the verbs we add ed. Con la mayoría de verbos utilizamos ed. Base form and ed. For example, Walk, walk, walked, walk. So we add ed. Play, play, that is a base form. And we say played, played, played. Next, that is the first rule, right? Most of the verbs. With most of the verbs, we add ed. Con la mayoría de verbos, repito, agregamos ed. Next. When the verse end in e, we add only d. We don't add ed. No, because the verb finishes with the letter e. For example, like or yesterday we were using exercise, remember? Exercise, that is another verb, and it finishes with the letter e. 
And that's why we say light, 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 light. Okay. Next, move, 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 move. Okay, so we only add ED. That is the second rule. The third rule, when the verse, and I explained this in the previous class, when the verse end in, in a consonant, Remember the consonants B, C, D, F, G, H, M, N, etc. Those are consonants. Plus white, the letter white. So in this case, what do we do? We omit, we change the white and we add I, idiom. This is M. Okay, cuando tenemos una. En la palabra, pues son un verbo, cuando tenemos al finalizar un, una consonante en white, por ejemplo, el common verb es study. Study finishes with a consonant, which is Z, and we have white. That is another consonant. In this case, we omit the white, and instead of that, we add ID. Study, study, study. Okay, got more examples in here. Carry, 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 carry. Okay, that is the third rule. And the last rule, the last rule is when you have a, a one syllable, when the verb has one syllable and some verbs ending in a single consonant plus the second last letter is a vowel, we double the last letter. So this is what I said in the previous class, remember? We had the verse with uh, plan, stop. Remember, we were saying that we have consonant, vowel, consonant. Tenemos esta regla, consonante, consonant, vowel, vocal, plus consonant. Pero tenemos esa regla y el verbo tiene solo una sílaba, plan and stop, they have just one syllable. Esos verbos tienen solamente una, una sílaba. And that's why we say plan, 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 the double N. Because the last consonant is M. Next, stop. The last consonant is, what is the last consonant? What is the last consonant? ¿Cuál es la última, la última consonante? Está. P. 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 Exacto. So we double the letter P. Stop. 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 Okay. That, that's why we add or we double the last letter. The last consonant in this case. Okay. Those are the rules. Those are the rules for this regular verse. Any questions? Preguntas hasta acá. Questions? No. No, teacher. Okay. Let's go with the following part. Now that we know the, the, the rules, aunque sabemos reglas, let's go with the, the, the sound. The pronunciation. Vamos ahora a la forma en que pronunciamos esos verbos en pasado. Let's go. Here we have some, uh, I would say, rules in the sounds, as we said in the previous class. Remember, we have three different sounds. The it sound, it sound, the sound, and a this sound. Tenemos un sonido it. Sonido de T y un sonido de T. Okay. So we have some specific, um, I would say, consonants or letters that that means they have those sounds. For example, ED, D and D, they have an, an E sound. They have an E sound. T, we have these specific letters. E, K, F, 
G H S H C H S S C X. With D, we have L on N, sorry, R G V S Z B M M. Okay, and we have sounds, different sounds. We have E sound, E sound, and it sound. Okay, and that determines the way we pronounce the words. For example, we have some sounds and they are called voices sound and voice sound. As I said in the previous class, voiceless sound, we have voice sound. What does it mean? When we say voiceless sound, it's because your voice is off, okay? And when you say voice sound, it's because your voice is on. What does it mean? Cuando utilizamos ese, ese sonido, es porque um, hacemos diferentes, uh, I would say, sonidos con nuestras cuerdas vocales, vocales okay? En este caso, pues, Hacemos diferentes sonidos y, y nos expresamos por medio de, you no, know, no tenemos una vibración, por ejemplo. Voice sound, your voice is on. What does it mean? You have a vibration over here in your throat, in your throat, okay? For example, if we do the following, I will say, um, sounds, This one, for example, I need you to listen, everybody. Put your hand in your throat. Put your hand in your throat. Okay? Pongamos nuestra mano en nuestra garganta. And let's make the following sound. Da, 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 da. So we feel a vibration, right? Over here. Sentimos una vibración en nuestra garganta. Da, da. So, in that case, we have a voice sound. This is a voice sound. Voice sound. So, it means that when we have this verse, this verse uh, is because we have, you know, uh, a vibration, vibration, okay? And when we have a uh, voiceless sound, it's because we don't have a vibration in our throat. And we have some other sounds like, for example, this one, this is a voiceless, it's voiceless sound. Okay. You put again your, your hand in your throat and you say this sound, please everybody, put your hand in your throat and I say pa. Ah, 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 ah. So you don't feel a vibration. Another sound is, for example, we have ah, 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 ah. So you don't feel a vibration. No sentimos una vibración cuando hacemos ese sonido. Right? Tenemos esa vibración, porque es un voice de sound. Es un sonido y no se genera una vibración en nuestra, en nuestra garganta. Estos son voice de sound. And here we have some examples. L, look, sniff, laugh, wash, wash, kiss, dance, Fix. So you don't feel a vibration. Hell, look, near, laugh, 
wash, wash, kiss, dance, kiss. You don't feel a vibration. That's why those are both the sounds. And we use T at the sound. And we say, hell, sorry. Cuando tenemos este sonido, no se genera esta vibración, es porque tenemos un sonido de T. En los verbos de forma pasada. Por ejemplo, hell, 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 okay, hell, 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 the pronunciation is like hell, hell, other one, the, Look, 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 near, near. What is it? That is a base form. Near. The past one would say near, near, near. Continue. Laugh, laugh. That is the base form. When you say past form, laughed, laughed, laughed. Next, wash, wash, washed, washed. Next, wash, wash. What is base form? Past form, washed, washed, washed. Next, base form. Yes. 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 Last form. Yes. 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 It's not kiss it. Yes. 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 It's like this. I mean, the pronunciation is like this. Yes. Yes. But the way you you form the last form is like this with ed. But you don't say kiss it. Is it? You say kiss, kiss, kiss. Next, dance. That is best form. Dance, dance. Last form, dance, 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 dance. And the last one, we have fix. Fix is in the base form. Fix. The last one is fix. 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 Okay. That's the two sound. And we have voiceless sound. Voiceless sound. Right. Now let's go with D with this sound. But this sound is different because we pronounce we, we have a vibration, right? Uh la. For example, da. 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 There's another one. This is a voice layer. This is a boy sound. Da, 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 da. Do you feel a vibration? Ga, ga. Tenemos una vibración en la garganta. Es un sound, voice sound. Okay, and we have different examples. We have cold. Cold. We say cold, cold. Cold. Base form, cold. 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 It's like this. Cold. 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 That is another one. Cold. Clean. Base form, clean. 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 Next, offer. Offer. That is in the base form. Offer. Offer. Last form. Offer. Offer. Offer it. Next, damage. 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 That is in the base form. Last form. Damage. Damage. Next, love. 
love. That is in the base form. Love. Love. Past form. Love. 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 Next. Use. Use is in the base form. Use. Use. Past form. Use. 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 Next. Amaze. 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 That is in the base form. In past form. Amaze. 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 And we have some others like a rock. A rock. A rock. Say the password, rub, rub, rub. And the last one is claim, claim. In the base form, claim, claim. In the past form, we say claim, 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 claim. Okay, so that is a D sound, E sound and T sound. Okay, now let's go with the E sound. The E sound. It is easy. It is easy to to identify and to pronounce the verbs. When the verbs, when the verbs finish in D or D, is because you have to use an it sound, an it sound. Okay. When the verbs finish E or D, so you say you use an it sound. For example, we have the verb one. Want is in the base form. In the past form, you say wanted. Want, wanted. Want, wanted. Next, we have need. Need, need. That is in the base form. Need, need. In the past form, you say needed. Needed. Need. Need it. Need. Need it. Another example is a star. Star is in the base form. In the past form, you say stutter. Star. Stutter. Star. Stutter. Another one is decide. Decide. In the base form, decide. In the past form, you say decided. 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 Another word is visit. Visit, and we say visited. Visit, visited. Visit, visited. Okay? So that is the way we differentiate the regular verbs. The regular verbs, they have different pronunciations. They have different pronunciations. And it depends on the sounds. It depends on the sounds. Any questions? Any questions? Yes, teacher. Excuse oh. me. In the word "nil," uh, when you pronounce like "t" at the end, "nil." Nil. Uh, nil. Yeah, nil is in the base form. Nil. Base form. Nil. In the past form, you say "nil it." Nil it. Good for me. Need, need it. Yes, teacher. Este, mi pregunta es que se escucha que al final hay una T en la pronunciación. Mm, no, because the sound is like this. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. So you don't have a, a T sound. You have an it sound. Okay. Okay. Somebody else questions? This is the way we pronounce the verbs. Questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Teacher, y con referente a las vocales, eh, abajo estaba leyendo de que es igual el sonido de, de la D al final, después de la, de la, después de la vocal, el sonido de la D. Mm. Well, in this case, you don't pronounce the, the vowels. You don't pronounce the vowels. In some cases, las vocales por general no se no se pronuncia. Because, for example, let me see. You don't say, for example, call it. 
show it. That is incorrect. You don't pronounce the, the, the E. You pronounce it this way, cold. 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 You don't say call it. Say cold. cold. Las vocales, en ese caso, ponen la I porque es la que se utiliza en todos. No se pronuncia. Another example, it could be play. Play, you don't say play it. Play it. Not because that is incorrect. You say play it. Play it. So we omit the, the vowel sounds. Los, los unidos de vocales a veces well. omit. No se, no se pronuncian. En inglés, eso es la característica que tiene. Que algunas palabras o podría ser consonantes o, bueno, palabras o vocales no, no se pronuncian, se omiten. Teacher, ejemplo, ¿podría, yeah. ¿podría pronunciar las últimas? Donde dice, no sé si es following, enjoy, play. Oh, ok, ok, yeah. Well, we have words that end in a vowel sound use the pronunciation for ed. Oh, ok, follow. Follow is the base form. Follow. Follow. The other one, enjoy. Play. We have continue. Okay. Well, uh, we have this sound in this case. We have these sounds. And we say follow. That is the base form. And the password say follow. 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 Hello. Next, enjoy. That is the base form. Enjoy. Enjoy. In the past form, you say enjoyed. 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 Next, played. 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 Play is base form. Play. Play. It's the base form. Base form. Played. 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 Play. And the last one, continue. That's the best form. Continue. Continue. And the past form, you say continue. 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 Okay. So this, this, this verse, this verse have a this sound. Well, questions one more time. Preguntas? Dudas? Todo bien? Tomemos captura de, de esa para que ustedes lo tengan ahí, practiquen. Tienen ese sonido. Por ejemplo, Okay. Well, listen, I'm going to move on to the following form. And now I'm going to talk about, well, I'm going to give you the examples that I showed you in the previous class. Remember wash, 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 wash. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Study, 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 study. Stay, 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 stay. Stop, 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 stop. Work, 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 play, 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 play. Play it. Play it. The last one. Visit. 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 Okay. These are the examples that we're discussing in the previous class. I'm going to move on to the following slide because I'm going to explain irregular verbs. Any questions before to move on? Preguntas antes de irnos a la siguiente dispositiva. Okay. Moving on to the following form. Now let's talk about irregular verbs. Irregular verbs 
and they have different classifications. We don't use D, ED, IED, so it's different. They have different classifications. For example, there isn't any rule for irregular forms, but we classify them. Para los verbos irregulares no existen, um, no existen reglas, hay clasificaciones. For example, let's go with this part first. Some verbs don't change its form. For example, we say put, the present form, past form, put, and the past principle put. The same, put. Next, post. Post, post, post. It's the same. The three forms are the same. This is, eh, in this case, no, no, se, no, es que, en ese caso, no, no vamos clasificando. Pero no vamos agregando ed, d, y d. Y ed. Es diferente. In the first form, all the, all the verbs are the same. In la primera clasificación, todos los verbos son iguales. Todas las formas. Second, some verbs change the simple past and the past principle forms. For example, bring, brought, brought. Bring, present form, past form, and past principle. Bring, brought, brought. Next. Present form, spin, stood, past form, stood, past past. But only the simple past and the past past performed change. Pero la forma pasada y la forma participia son aplicables. Next, some verbs change only one form. Usually a vowel. For example, run, 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 run sorry. Run. Present form, run. Past form, run. Past participle, run. Next, present form, come. Past form, came. And past participle, on. Acá solamente cambia una forma. Solo se cambia una vocal. Por lo general, es la, la forma pasada. La que se cambia. Y el pasado participio es igual al presente. Okay. And the last one, some verbs have three different forms. For example, listen, swim, present form, swim, swan, swim. Swim, swan, swim. Present form, swim. Past form, swan. Past principle, swim. Next, eat, present form, eat. Listen this one, listen this one. If this is tricky. Escuchamos ese porque eso sí es, es bien, uh, no es complicado, sino que a veces confundimos la forma en que lo pronunciamos. Eat, present form. Eight, past form. Eaten, past form. Eat, eight, eaten. Eat, eight, eaten. Okay. And these are the classifications. Estas son las clasificaciones para los verbos irregulares. Es diferente. No se les agrega D, ED, O, ID. Sí, I have a question. Sure, tell me. Eh, en el, por ejemplo, en el verbo run, correr, no se podría ocupar el, la ED, run. El. No, no, because it's irregular. No, you cannot do this. Incorrect. Because run is a is a regular irregular verb. You can say you can say probably running, but running is different. And you double the last the last letter, the last consonant. This case, yeah, it applies because it's in ing form. In ese caso, sí se se la la última consonante, pero porque es un verbo en ing. It's in gerund. It's in gerund. En o sea que en ningún siempre. caso, en ningún yeah. caso en los irregulares se puede ocupar ED. No, no, you can't. Okay. Esas son las clasificaciones. Yeah. And we have some other, yeah, 
el pasado participio cuál es. En, o sea, oh. más o menos, ¿verdad? Yeah. The past participle. Past participle form is used uh, with the perfect tenses. Perfect tenses. And we use it with passive voice. El pasado participio, esa forma se utiliza con los tiempos perfectos. Present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, future perfect continuous, present perfect continuous. El, el pasado participio, esa forma se utiliza solo con los, el, los perfectos, el, los tiempos perfectos. Presente perfecto, pasado perfecto. Bueno, en, en español lo conocemos diferentes. Muy diferentes. Pero se utiliza con eso, sí, con el passive voice, como pasiva, perdón, la voz pasiva. Pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, no se preocupen. Por eso no se preocupen ahorita. Eso sí, les pido que vayamos practicando ese día los verbos, con las tres formas. Eso lo vamos a enfocar en esas formas, presente y pasado. ¿Ok? Presente y pasado. En esas dos formas. All right. Any questions? Everything clear? Preguntas, dudas? Todo claro? No se les olvide notificarme y, o decirme por medio del micrófono, please. O por medio de chat, si creen que todo se claro. Yeah, that's clear. Thank you. We have some other, yeah. What? We have some other forms. I mean, we have some other verbs, sorry. Uh, talking about the first. The first, I would say classification, this one. We have, for example, cat, but, and cat. All the forms are the same. For the second one, of this one, we have, for example, by, but, and month. Okay? So the simple past and the, the past form. The past, the simple past, sorry, and the past participle forms are the same. The third one, some verbs change only one form. An example could be, let me see. Oh, you say become, became, and become. And with the last one, this one, have, for example, take, they took in the past form, and the past participle will say take it. Okay, that is the way we differentiate the irregular verbs. They have, I repeat, different classification. Repito, esos verbos solo tienen clasificación. Van por categorías. No, no tienen reglas. I mean, podrían ser reglas. Puedo decir que todas sus formas son iguales. Algunas solo cambian solo dos formas. Cambian solo una forma, una letra, una vocal, y la última que cambian. Pero más que todo se les conoce como classifications or categories. Nuevamente, preguntas, dudas, any questions, any doubts? No? Another verb is, for the last rule, see, this is common. So, seen, the three forms are different. See, the form, past form, so, and seen. This is the verb common. See. Let's see some examples. I saw a movie yesterday. I saw a movie yesterday. And remember, yesterday we were talking about the structures, right? Affirmative. Let's talk about affirmative and negative right now because tomorrow we're going to talk about questions. Right now we're going to talk about just negative and negative form. Affirmative and negative form, sorry. So up here, remember, what else? Class? Up here, class? What is the structure? Up here, class? What is the structure? That we follow? Subject plus the verb in base form or past form, guys? In past form. Past form, yeah. 
Class form. Class. What do we have? What do we have at the end? Complement. 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 Exactly. Well, for the negative form, this is for the simple. That is for the positive or affirmative form. For negative form, we have the subject, we have the verb, and the verb has to be in past form or base form, guys. In base form. In base form, yeah. And what is missing? What is missing before the verb? What is missing be before the verb be? Yeah, so the verb base form. What is, yeah. What is auxiliary? Didn't. 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 Or it could be did not, to start in the first line. Not. Did not equals didn't. Okay, that is the negative form. And in the negative form, we use base form. In la forma negativa, utilizamos el verbo in la firma, in forma base, perdón. Porque tenemos el auxiliar. Didn't. Y eso significa que la, 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 la idea, perdón, la estructura, la versión está en pasado. Ok. Well, let's see some examples. I saw a movie yesterday. That is an affirmative form. The negative form is, I didn't see a play yesterday, or I didn't see a movie yesterday. As you can see, that is a difference. Affirmative form, we have the verb in, in past form. The negative part, the verb is in base form. See, next, last year, I traveled Japan. I traveled. Last year, I didn't travel to Korea. Last year, I didn't travel to Korea. As you can see, the verb is in base form. It, it is not in the past form. Okay. Then we have a question. And we yeah, saw questions. Oh. A second. Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. We have questions as we saw in the previous class, uh, but we're going to use questions tomorrow with a simple part. But we have a question in there. Do you, do you have a? Do you have dinner last night? And that is another verb. Half. Half. Half is an irregular verb. Have is in this category. Have, have. Isn't have, 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 have. So the, the simple past and the past past performance are the same. Okay. Another example she washed her car. She washed her car. In the negative form, he didn't wash. He didn't wash. Okay. That is the way we use regular and, ir and irregular verbs. Sorry. Regular and irregular verbs in the simple form. This is the simple form. Teacher, do you have a, a list of most common verbs, mm. irregular verbs, or that, that do you? share with us yeah i think so let me look for for that let me look for for the list first some common verse and i'm gonna send it to you yeah okay thank i'm gonna send it to you for sure déjeme revisar creo que si lo tengo una lista de verbos ya se empiecen a practicar es muy importante que empiecen a practicar ambos regulares y regulares Sí, como para memorizarlo, digo yo, o sea, los más, exactly. los más comunes, para que usted cree que podemos memorizar. Exacto. Que no sé si tiene más. Sí, Dígame. Yeah, yo, tengo, yo tengo una lista que bajé ahora eh, de mm. los verbos irregulares, dice, los más importantes, y me salieron oh. 161. Oh, ok. But that's a lot. That's a lot. Listen, my recommendation for you, mi recomendación sería la siguiente. Está bien la lista de verbos que, que ha obtenido. Está bien. Pero mi recomendación es que vayamos de poco, poco a poco. ¿eh? No vayamos, por ejemplo, iniciemos, por decirlo así, porque si los, la mayoría de veces se memorizan los verbos, lo más recomendable quizás, o practicarlos en oración. Utilizar un verbo, por ejemplo, seleccionar uno, no sabemos el significado, buscarlo. 
utilizarlo en la forma pasada, por ejemplo, en ese caso, digamos, que sean así por más. Pero oraciones, por ejemplo, podría ser otra forma. La otra forma, que es la, la más fácil que sea, es memorizar. Pero mi recomendación es la siguiente. No memoricemos 50 verbos de un solo. Hagamos de 10 en 10. De 10 en 10. Porque hay que ir paso a paso. No veamos corriendo. Paso a paso. Y empecemos. 5 y 5, teacher. De 5 en 5 podría ser, claro. No, cinco. o sea, 5 regulares y 5 irregulares. Ah, ok. Sí, claro. Esa, esa podría ser. 5 regulares y 5 irregulares. Iniciamos así, memorizémonos. Y lo mejor sería practicar con oraciones. Escribamos oraciones para memorizarlas. Ok. No veamos de un solo a, a aprender unos días. 50, por ejemplo. Que no va a funcionar. Podría funcionar, pero no, lo, lo recomendable sería empezar de lo, los verbos más comunes, los que más se utilizan. Hay otros verbos que no se utilizan mucho, pero sí nos ayudan, porque sí se utilizan. ¿Okay? Esa sería mi recomendación. Así es que, bueno, si, si su compañera puede compartir, yo puedo compartirles una lista de verbos comunes también. Claro, con gusto. Es que sería mi recomendación. 5 y 5, como dijo la compañera. Ok, bueno. Questions, doubts, comments, preguntas, dudas, varios. ¿Está todo bien? Everything's fine. Yeah. Okay. Clear. All right. Listen. We're going to complete the following exercises. Let me move on. Oh, and I'm sorry for the instructions. I forgot to, to change the instructions. Listen, what I want you to do, you have to look at the following exercises and you have to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs. The verbs are in parentheses. Los verbos están en parentheses. For example, the first one is talk. You have to differentiate, you have to differentiate if it is a regular or a regular verb. Is that verb irregular or regular? Talk. So, regular. Regular, yes. Eso es un verbo regular. Talk. So we add ed. I talked to you last night. That is the first one. The first one is given. La primera se les, se les ha propuesto. I need to continue with the other ones. Play it. Yeah. Let's continue with number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. I will give you a couple of minutes. I will give you two and three or three minutes. And then we're going to discuss together the exercises. Go on. Voy a dar un par de minutos ahorita, unos dos o tres minutos. Y luego vamos a hacerlo todos. Okay, juntos. Alguien ya, no, ya nos dio la, la segunda. Okay. No hay ningún problema. Continue. Continue working. Yes. I will, I will give you two or three minutes. Trabajemos un par de minutos, unos dos o tres minutos, creamos las oraciones y completamos de forma correcta. Entonces, Okay, no worry. Teacher. Yeah. Excuse me, what is an UFO? An UFO is an alien. An alien. An alien. An alien. An alien. 
Ya. Yeah. Alien. An alien. An alien, yes. A new form. Okay. It's an alien. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Objeto volador no identificado. I'm sorry? Objeto volador no identificado. Object flying. Uh, yeah. Those are, those, that is the abbreviation in, in, in English. Let me show you quickly. See if I can find the, what is O4 stands for. Um, it is similar to Omni in Spanish, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll say Alien or, or Omni. Yeah, but that is, in English, it's like objeto volador no identificado. Okay. And in English, let me show you. Oh, no. No an, object. A, an identify, oh. an identify, object. An identify, by an object. That is oh. in English. It's different. Unidentified flying object. Object. All right. Listen. Let's begin. Let's practice together, everybody. Let's go sentence by sentence. I'm going to ask you for the verb. Tell me if it is a, a regular or irregular verb. Let's go with number two. The verb is play. Is it regular play. or irregular? Regular. 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 So we add? Play it. E play it. And we say play it. Play it. Play it. Exactly. Play it. It's the first one. Number three, the verb is see. It's a regular or a regular verb? Irregular. 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 What is the past form? Irregular. See? So, Irregular. So, 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 can you spell it? Can you spell it? So? C A W. A W. S. A W. W. I'm sorry? So. S A W. So. It's like so. the movie, right? You know the yes. movie? So, si. so. I think in Spanish, well, they give a different translations. In Espanol, it's done different traducciones. Um, juegos macabros. O juegos sangrientos. Algo así, parece que he visto. But in English, it's so. So. Okay. Good. Let's continue. Next, dance. Is it regular or re irregular? Regular. 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 What is the best one? Dance. 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 Very well. Last Sunday night. Number three was we saw a new fall last night. Um, let's go with number five. The verb is right. I is right. Irregular. 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 Exactly. Can you spell it? I wrote. So in this case, we change only the vowel. We use O instead of I. I wrote a letter to the president last month. And the last one, the verb is work. Is it regular or re regular? Regular. 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 Work. Work. My father worked at a bank in Work. 20 m Okay. Well, these are the, the, the sentences, guys, for the exercises. Very good job. I need to know if you have any questions. Questions about simple pass, regular and irregular verbs. Preguntas, dudas. Vamos muy bien. Preguntas, dudas. Oh. 
Not teacher. It's good. Okay. No. Okay. My, I would say my, yeah, extra homework will be please practice. Practice with regular and irregular verbs. I'll say me. Mi tarea, mi tarea extra para ustedes, hoy practiquemos con los verbos regulares e irregulares. Voy a buscar, porque me recuerdo que tengo material caso de los verbos, verbos comunes, se los haré llegar lo, lo antes posible. ¿Eh? Well, everybody, sí. this is all for today. Well, let me see the, the attendance. Creo que con la asistencia, cuando los estamos bien, solo Karen Mengibar no nos... And then, well, everybody, we're going to finish right here. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. We will continue tomorrow. Have a good night. Stay safe. And Thank you, list. teacher. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Good